So it's opening the update package, it's looking at it, and it's going to verify it first before it does anything. Now there's certain ones that require different versions of um, uh, different versions of radios and that sort of thing. Make sure you have that right. Uh, the MyTouch is pretty good that way. Uh, sometimes when you have a different phone, such as the um, the HTC Magic, which is the other version of this, uh, if I have that right, uh, is the 32A version of this. You're going to need to do it a little bit differently. But it's verifying the update package. And this is going to take a moment. So uh, we'll just hang out here and hope everything goes as planned. Uh, it usually does, but it takes a moment. Like I said, it's verifying the update package. If it does not verify it, it will not flash the ROM. But just make sure you have the right one. And there are ver many different variants of ROMs. There's uh, optimized regular versions of the ROMs. There's, there's uh, a lot of other different things. So right now it's copying the files. And we'll let this run, as it does take some time. So I'm going to let this run, um, and uh, once it's done, we'll be right back. Okay, so this finally completed. Um, it installed our ROM. We're going to reboot the system. And it's going to come up uh, with a new OS. And see, that's always a good sign when you get the MyTouch 3G button or, uh, green screen here. It's going to take a little bit of time, and uh, that's about it. So uh, it's going to boot, like I said, and it may take a moment. And uh, we'll come back when it's booted up. It can take up to five minutes sometimes, so be patient. Okay, so the ROM is still booting up. It's the Evil Hero ROM, and it says by evil D. Uh, it's still booting up. Like I said, the first time may take quite a bit of time. Uh, after that, should be okay. Um, but we're just basically waiting for it to boot, and you can see the Android bouncing around here. So uh, once it boots up, we're all set. But I had enough time to go out, change the batteries of my camera as they were getting low, and come back. So a uh, good amount of time and as it continues to boot. So again, we'll be back when it's fully up, but I just wanted to show you that it does work, and the first boot is, is usually the slowest. Some versions boot a little faster, but uh, the first one takes quite some time usually. Alright, so after a lengthy boot process, this uh, finally came back up. So we're going to select English, hit Next, and it is a little bit slow initially. There we go, depending on the ROM you choose. Now, you may want to play around and find the best ones. Um, do you want to connect to Wi-Fi? Sure. And uh, we'll find this one. And I'll go ahead and put in my key when it pops up here. Oh, and let me tap the screen. And like I said, it is kind of slow right now. But usually once you get past this part, they're, they're a little bit quicker. Uh, I have used other ROMs that are faster. You might want to try that out. But to do that, you just simply go back, restart, and start over. But there you can see the hero keyboard. Okay, so I'm finally connected. I'm going to hit next. And if you want to set up a Google account, we'll go ahead and skip for now. Skip. Next. It's allowing Google to uh, use your location information. Next. And like I said, sometimes it takes a moment. Um, but the first time it boots up is usually the slowest. After that, it's usually pretty good. You can see it says HTC. And uh, it is taking a while, but like I said, it depends on the first time you boot it, that sort of thing. There we go. It's finally loading. And different versions of the ROMs will have different results. Some people say this is the fastest ROM. Uh, in my experience, I don't know if that's true, and I apologize for the interference. This is probably one of the most uh, uh, most radiating phones as far as uh, the amount of radiation it gives off. So uh, I apologize, but it's almost impossible to avoid that sound. So the home screen's finally come up. Like I said, the first time you have to be pretty patient. Uh, you can see I have Wi-Fi and... Um, the actual connection to uh, Edge, uh, we can hit this, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that will bring up our programs, 
and like I said, the first time is kind of slow, but you can see it's going pretty pretty decent now. Um, it is multi-touch. We can scroll side to side. There we go. You can see it has all the different options, and you can keep going like you uh, load bookmarks and that sort of thing. Uh, let's go ahead and open the browser. And you can see this is Hero running on a MyTouch, T-Mobile. Um, and like I said, the first time things open, I don't know why it's so slow, but after that seemed to be pretty quick. And I have used versions of uh, different ROMs that are actually very fast. So I, it's just a matter of finding the best one. But if you're the, if, if you're going to do this, you're probably going to want to tinker around a little bit. Um, so not a big deal. But uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to put a new ROM on, all you do is simply shut the phone off, boot holding home and uh, your power button. Again, wipe the data, then you're going to uh, format the card again, take the battery out, plug it in, dump your ROM on, rename it to update.zip, and update the ROM, and that's it. You can do that a hundred times if you want. I've played around with it about five times. I found a good one, uh, and this actually isn't my favorite one, um, but there are a bunch out there. So definitely check them out. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next